to get help to flee abuse. Okay, what's what? I'm trying to get help to flee abuse. Okay. Where are you located? Um, I, I want to keep that confidential. But it's in, uh, I would be coming to Tyler. Okay. Um, can I get your first and last name? It's Kiana. It happens every day I get gang stalked. And the corruption is so extreme, they even sabotage my ability to purchase food and water. They deny transit and schemes. And yesterday was with an assault. Okay, you said, I'm sorry, I am had a very hard time understanding you at the very beginning. Can you repeat that? Yes, this is a pattern. Hello? Yes, it's a pattern. Okay, you're cutting in and out really bad. This is a pattern. I don't know what to do. So you can't hear me now? I can hear you now, but you keep cutting in and out. Okay, how um, I, I'm in an abusive crisis that involves the government. That I have multiple different false arrests, 21. My abuser sets up false arrests, controls transit, my devices, and an army full of other things that he should not even be able to control. My ability to get food stamps, the IRS stimulus check, funds in my account, bank account, social security payments, attorney general child support payments that someone else paid that were being withheld to keep me in financial distress. Okay. Your, abu your abuser works with the government? I'm sorry, I'm trying to understand what you're saying. I don't think, I don't really think that's relevant. I just want to get a, a common ground on how you guys can help now that you've heard my crisis. Okay. Um, do you have transportation? Um, no. Are you able to assist with that? Um, it depends on where you are. Okay. Um, I'm in Dallas right now. Okay, we do have an organization that we can give you. No, I wanted to come to Tyler. Yes, ma'am, I understand. But if you are in need of transportation, you would need transportation to get here. Okay, that's fine. I'll get transportation to get there. I know there's an organization that helps women flee. Okay. Um, are there any children that would be coming with you? No. Okay, ma'am, give me just a second. Okay. They're full. It's their job to be full for all these years. Ma'am, are you still there? Yes. Okay, at this time, we do not have any availability. Um, what I can do is I can... Can I ask you a question? So I came in in person. And they told me they didn't have availability, but the um, shelter was only... Uh, you could see the shelter from the location that I was at. And there were hardly no cars. So women were coming in from the shelter, like getting water and doing certain things from the shelter. And I said, is there room there? I said, that, uh, she said, are they, you coming in, the women that I talked to? And I said, no, they said they're full. And they looked at me amazed. They said, no, they're not full. There's plenty of room. There's hardly anyone here. Multiple women said it. But they lied and told me that they were full. Well, each woman that I talked to looked dumbfounded that they would have told me that they were full and they were not. So I kept coming back trying to get services and the shelter staff were being mistreating me and sabotaging any kind of way to get services. But since I kept coming back, two workers left the front desk with me talking, begging for my life. At that time, I did not know what was going on. And I was terrified and did not know at each day if I would get murdered because I was getting ran off the roads. People were lying on me left and right, starting arguments. I was absolutely terrified, terrified for my life. And the, the, the imagine how I would feel going in a domestic violence organization and two women living, leaving me begging for my life, begging and pleading in fear, talking and walking off while I'm begging for my life. So I think that there's a disconnect on why multiple different locations will lie and tell me that they're full in a domestic violence crisis. The government is enlisted in in corruption for profit, which carries consequences if someone were to actually investigate this which are federal charges to abuse your power, to take bribes from a mentally unstable man and keep someone in extreme form of abuse year after year. So we already have a step, a step uh, established a pattern of an extreme amount of misconduct with blatant lies about locations being full that are not to leave me in jeopardy. 
Okay, ma'am, we are full, but I can give you some other referrals for some. Other I'm trying to interrupt this pattern that I've had to endure, calling like a job 10 or 11 hours to get the same thing year after year. I think it has something to do with why these people, I saw that device plugged into the other hotels and adjacent hotel room. I think these calls are being counterfeited. And I don't know who all this is happening to outside of myself. What if it's happening to someone wealthy? Okay, ma'am, did you want some other referrals for some other shelters since we are at capacity? I'm not quite certain on if you're at capacity, why I can't get case management in place in a location. Why would you Sorry, location to location? I'm not quite sure certain on why location to location will refer me to other locations that do the same thing year after year. We are bypassing all the services that you offer there that I never got. And you're also bypassing when I was in complete terror and then other women were kind of looking at me dumbfounded saying, no, I know we have room. I know, I know that there's room. There's beds empty everywhere. Multiple women. Now they enlist all the parties in the environment to be pathological liars and cover for their crimes. Now everyone says, I don't know. We can't address the staff misconduct period about two women walking out and leaving the front desk when I was begging and pleading for help that they were deliberately sabotaging. We can't address that. You're not giving me any directions on how to make that complaint. We're not, I'm not giving any direction on the, how to make the complaint with an army of people, uh, people lying about shelter. I thought that that was something the FBI inve investigated housing um, discrimination. And if I repeatedly denied of shelter, that is discrimination. Why aren't they investigating this? In this country, you're supposed to have the free right of services and shelter, but I don't in this country. That's, you cannot discriminate against someone having shelter and other, a lot of the other things I'm discriminated against. But we can't touch on that. You just want to give me other numbers? What's your name? Yes, ma'am. What's your name? What's your name? What is your name? What is your name? Do you know it? What's your name? Ma'am. What's your name? If you would like referrals, that's what I can You don't know your name? You're deflecting? I, let me know when you know what your name is. How long is it going to take before you know your name? Ma'am. When? Let me know when you know what your name is. Okay, ma'am, I'm having a very hard time understanding you. I've asked you multiple different times what your name is. You have a, a difficulty understanding that? Ma'am, my name is Ashley. Okay, it took it takes you guys a really long time to find out what your name is. But you can immediately deny services up front. Okay. Ma'am, I'm not denying you services. Our shelter is full. You can still receive the non-residential services, though. It's not going to stop until someone interrupts it. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. It's the year after year.